Hey everybody, I'm going to add a second video here because after I finished the first video with you guys, I was kind of frustrated that the, the art project didn't work out the way that I wanted it to to show you. So I played around a little bit and did some experiments with my paint and with, um, with the tin foil. And so I wanted to come back and show you real quick uh, how to make this a more successful project. So here we go. I'm going to give you a, a little tutorial here. Okay, so as you can see on my, on my tin foil, what I did was, and I'll just, I'll do it again. I added some paint and I, so let's just say there's nothing there and we're just starting from fresh again. Spread your paint all around, okay? Now what I'm doing is, instead of using the paintbrush end, I'm gonna use my finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some, just some squiggly lines, just to show you, and this is kind of fun put your finger in it, <laughs> get a little bit messy. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, get my big sheet of paper, and I'm gonna put it just gently on top and gently rub the back so that the paint transfers to the paper. Okay, now this should be a lot more successful. Ready? Here we go. Oh yeah, this is way better. Check it out. You get a really cool design now, okay? So that, that's what we wanna go for. So you may need to use your finger, and I'm gonna pull the ghost print now. You may need to use your finger to get in there, not the end of the paintbrush. Although you can do fine lines with that and see what happens, and just like I said, do an experiment and the styrofoam totally works if you use a pen to draw into it. We're gonna pull the ghost print now and let's just see what happens. This should come out pretty cool too. All right, let's see. Yeah, kinda looks like a maze. Okay, that's a cool print. So. Now you guys have a better understanding. I'm sorry that I didn't do that the first time. Um, you know what, just for, the, just for the heck of it, let's pull one more print. And since there's a little bit of paint left on there, let's see what we get. Um, so I'm sorry, but sometimes art is just an experiment. Sometimes it doesn't work the way you wanted it to. And sometimes it comes out better than you wanted it to. Something like this is just a kind of fun experiment to do. Yeah. This one's definitely a much lighter print, but you could still see where the pattern is. And then you can, then once this is dry, you can draw on top of it. You can collage on top of it. You can cut it up and use for different things. Um, but just experiment with a bunch of different ones and see what you come up with and see which ones work the best. And maybe show me, you know, three or four and check off which ones uh, were your favorite. Okay. All right, cool. So that was our part two. Hope that everybody understands why I did a second video and I look forward to seeing what you guys make. See you later.